Commissioner Robinson is not going to be here, is that correct? We'll go ahead and get started. We'll start with the pledge and uh, Commissioner Patton will do our invitation. Please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Father. We come before your throne this evening asking a blessing upon this meeting, on each individual, that we will discuss the affairs of the city as in a most equitable and fair manner. Bless us with wisdom and knowledge and patience. Forgive us where we fail thee, Father, in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody out tonight, and we're going to get you started. The first item will be the minutes. Make sure we accept the minutes. Approved minutes, I'm sorry. Approved minutes. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. Move to pay all bills. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Old business. First item is award to bid for the cable franchise. And that would be this one, correct? Yeah. I see the inspector. Uh, pretty much the other. Charter. They uh, changed your name again? I thought it was Spectrum. It's about all the same, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're the same. Spectrum. I think they're the same company. It depends on what part of the country you're in. Charter being rid of the Spectrum, I guess that's what you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fees okay. and give them more. Well, they didn't blow them. <laughs> so they don't put it in the letter. It's got a big point. Big green. And I still didn't say it. <laughs> shall be a term of 10 years. That's standard, isn't it? Last time, Mary? Five percent. Okay, that's the grantor may provide written notice of grantee to this intent we can collect a franchise fees under the section. The franchise fees shall be an amount equal to five percent of the grantee's annual gross revenues. So it's five percent. Don't that look what I'm doing? So we do need a motion to accept this. I make a motion we accept the cable franchise bid. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Mary, you'll need that back. Next item is the award bid for a 1998 Ford Ranger. Yeah, the bid actually will come off tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Currently, it's sitting at $1,225. So, I would have. I ask that the commission would go ahead and approve the sale tomorrow at 3. I move to accept the sale tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. 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 Post sign. Someone local or where from? I'm curious. Uh, right now it's local. Hmm. <laughs> Are we going to have to get another four-wheel drive since that one's going to be gone? No, oh, I thought that. Oh, that's the Ranger. That's the Ranger. Not the, yeah. It's not the Explorer. I was thinking the Explorer. I apologize. That was me. Is it a little white? Car? Oh, it's yeah. it's yeah. old time. Uh, next item under new business is yeah. the seventeen eighteen audit presentation. Welcome, Dan. How are you? All right. <laughs> 
trying to get some good texts. <laughs> yeah, I bet. People come in and tell me that sometimes I only have another week. I'm having a fun about that. I don't want to think about that. Is next Monday a holiday? Are they off to? The, is it put off to the sixteenth again? No, it's fifteenth. It is the fifteenth this year. And Monday's the day. Current assets and current liabilities. 
that you can see under that the fund balance for the uh, general fund is a million two fifty five or thirty one and not major and show those at the end four thirty four. So in total it's almost one point seven. And at the bottom it, it shows reconciliation because the business like one books all of your fixed assets uh, as actually assets and depreciates them just like your factory would. And of course the primary one is what we're standing in right now is quite a bit different than the working conditions that we've had here before. This is pretty nice. <coughs> Thank you. The only problem we had was everybody kept trying to come in and banging on the door all the time because <laughs> doors were locked all day. In fact, FedEx guy got kind of, he almost got mad. He rattled the door a while and didn't come in. He walked all the way around and still ended up back here. Um, next page is still the traditional one. I said, it, this the revenue is just books pretty much more or less money in and money out. Um, if you look at um, everything on that, <clears throat> of course it did actually show, uh, it showed a deficit, but again, that's the difference in the treatment of that because all of this work here is treated as like it's not very expensive. Mm -hmm. this, if, you, uh, if you look at capital outlay down about three fourths of the way down, capital outlay for the city as a whole for this and for street maintenance and so forth was $847,948. So you take all that out, um, you know, really the, the governmental funds have a uh, positive also. Then it, uh, on page 8 it shows the difference. Uh, you're starting to put $317,000 minus and then you go through the depreciation and so forth and come down to positive $44,144. Page nine is a balance sheet for the first down water city sanitation. Page ten is uh, income statement on this, change in net position. If you look about almost down at the bottom, changes in net position for all three of these, it was positive for all of them. And that, that really is almost unheard of. Uh, generally speaking, sanitation most cities does all right. And water may, but it's rare that we see a sewer that's self sufficient. It almost always has a deficit. And cash flows on page 11, and that's actually money in, money out. Uh, and doing on all these, you can see about halfway down, increasing cash and cash equivalents. All three of them had more money at the end of the year than the beginning of the total 285.602. The one on page 12, fiduciary fund, is a payroll fund, and all of these is. The strip of clear camps really moving the money out. All these changes for the pension and the, uh, his old fed was added. All together we had nine pages this order of fed that it wasn't in there to begin with. And page 24 capital assets shows all the changes on the government activity. Let's see. Uh, Building uh, construction and process up there near the top because of June 30th, 18. This was occupied, I think, in August, as a mm -hmm. summer. So that 424, 735 that we spent today on that is all booked as construction and process. Um, and of course, all your depreciation. Page 25 is the same thing on the three parts of the sanitation. Um, actually, purchased very little in water sewer and sanitation as far as capital assets at all. Over nineteen thousand dollars bought during the year. Page twenty six and shows the debt. Um, the uh, you know, governmental portion of it, uh, just over two million dollars. Primary Kentucky Bond cor uh, Corporation, and that's primarily on the amphitheater. And changes in long term debt at the bottom. Uh, the only only additions that were added to it at all. For all that extra pension that you have to add all the time. Because everything else, there's no new, basically there's no new debt incurred by people during the year. And over there in the middle, reduction is 141, almost 142 on the general, and 96, 414 on the business activities. 27 just shows how long it takes, it takes to pay it all off. Then the, the, the pension notes now start on page 29. Until 
the bottom of page 40, purple pages of information. And the bottom of 41 explains some of the reasons why these adjustments have to be made and why these are not uh, 43 is the budget. That's the general fund only. Uh, revenues are budgeted at $2 million. Actual at $1 million. Expenditures are budgeted at just a little bit $2 million. Actual is $2.3 million. A lot of that having to do with because if you look down capital outlay about two thirds of the way down, so they're thirteen thousand. And that wasn't part of the general fund budget. But the bottom line fund balance uh, it decreased down to a million two fifty five or thirty one but you also because you can pretty much paid your way on this uh this mm -hmm. And some more some more pension information. Page of 49 breaks down those special revenue things. And uh, our total asset, uh, <coughs> Cemetery had about $175,000 in it. OGEA had $150,000 on page 49. <coughs> uh, Capital outlay is $1.5 million. Cemetery spent a little more than the state of on the uh, MRA and the road fund, that's always a matter of time because a lot of times you take in you know, the full amount and spend next to nothing and then the next year you do quite a bit of work without taking any more money. In. So that one fluctuates all the time. Still ended up with the road fund because of balances of $12,694. And then we have 51 just breaks down the water and sewer charges for services. Page 52 is a required report on compliance and internal control. And we have one finding in this, and again, it's like it's tourism. Now, we dropped the two that we had before about the internal control because tourism's come a long way on internal control. I mean, you've got a director, and there's, a, there's just a whole lot more involvement than other people. Plus, it helps a lot on these events that so much of the revenue from that comes from these online services. It's not so much that you're selling tickets on the street corner right. and then having to account for it. So the one the finding it is here is new. It's one that we never really considered before. But when you convert this to a business basis, if you sell tickets in advance, <clears throat> that's not really a revenue until you've had that event. Same way when you have to pay those massive deposits for a somebody like Martina McBride to come, that's not really an expenditure until because yeah. of that form. <clears throat> we we didn't have enough information really to be able to uh, Go back and reconstruct all that. So this is just a suggestion that next year, when accountants come in, that they go through all of those and look at tickets that have been received and, and deposited, how much of that events that haven't happened yet, and then by the same token, any amounts that have been paid out for deposits or things that you had to do for an event that happens after June 30th, then treat those as if it's you have an asset and liability basically mm -hmm. there right. that need to be booked at the end of the year. Okay. And that shouldn't be too hard to come up with. Any, uh, any questions? On that? So you feel in pretty good shape? I was thinking we were talking about this is very well in the city. Do you have any questions? Okay. Thank you very much. We need to approve this, don't we? Yeah. Hmm? I think so. Oh. I'll second it. No, we had approved that. Oh. Mary, we need to approve this, don't we? Yes, yeah, it's, well, okay. We've got a motion and a second. I thought, well, well, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> no, I, would, I would think that you would need to accept it. Please. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any I'll other second. any other discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. 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 Motion, motion passes. Next item is approved. First reading, 2018-19 budget amendment. I just let you talk about it. This is just a year in, uh, year in where we had to add on. Yeah, on the water, on the general. Uh, 
general fund side on expenses, uh, we elected to go ahead and buy a new police car that Mike Allen and myself picked up today. So uh, we actually had zero budgeted for it, so uh, it needs to be increased to $30,000 for the purchase of the car and to uh, equip it. Then the water fund, uh, purchase of water expense uh, needs to be increased from 272000 to 290000 Construction, construction maintenance equipment on capitalized uh, needs to be increased from ten thousand to forty thousand. Uh, water sales on the income side needs to be increased from five hundred fifty thousand to five hundred eighty thousand. And the reconnect fees increased on the water uh, water side from twelve thousand five hundred to fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand dollars in reconnect fees. Okay. Hmm. Count what people do. Okay. Move to approve the budget amendment. <coughs> second. Yeah. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Opposed, same. And that motion passes. Approve the agreement renewal for Hux. Yes, that is a year to year contract. Uh, for the lift station? Yes, it's for the lift station out there at the, the old Arby's. Mm -hmm. uh, Twelve thousand dollars I don't have it from me, so I'm not That's the same what it was last year. Yes, yeah, same as last year. They, they just want it from year to year. Where State had it was a two-year contract. So. Yeah. I make a motion to renew Hux the station agreement. Second. Do we have a motion and second? Any further discussion? Those in favor, seen by that? Aye. Oh, same. Motion passes. Next item is to approve the resolution for the 219 2020 municipal road aid. Yeah, that's something we have to do every year. Do we hit what the price of um, The amount is $68,355.15. 68? Mm -hmm. $68,355. Do you know what that compared to last year's? Actually, I think it's up a little bit. I think it is. It was about, it seemed like it was like 65 or so. <coughs> I'm going to prefer the resolution for municipal aid. You can't talk tonight. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passed. Mr. Pratchett, Mr. Pratchett. Mike? Yes. Got a new car? Yeah, a new car. Another charger? White. Is it another charger? Yeah, the whole wheel drive, 2019. Got to get equipment put in it. It probably takes a couple weeks to get that ball through. How fast is it, Brian? I don't know. Carter drove it. <laughs> <laughs> I drove my old car back. Don't ask that question. Don't worry, it's a bad one. He's going to hear as fast as one of the bells, I tell you. I said the crew's at 82. Okay. I, I followed up. A car dealer one time when I was about 18, I was supposed to be following him to deliver this car to an 80 some odd year old woman. When he hit 105, I backed off. <laughs> she may not get this car. You can, is it, are you going to take drive it? Yeah. Are you going to drive the new one? Yeah. yeah. We're probably going to, uh, Larry and I have talked about it more. We're probably going to get rid of the old Crown Vic. That's all the Crown Vic we got left. We'll probably get rid of it. Keep my car for a cool car. I might need to drive one, maybe some of the city workers need it. Larry needs it for something. Yeah. Uh, wants to go to KFC at Litchfield. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my car, that's kind of our plan uh, to keep up the, the old car, my old car, and we get some uh, stick on detail. In case we need to use it, we're going to have it around the house. It's got to identify a mark on it. That way, we we'll take them off. We'll get a truck if somebody else needs to drive it. Mr. Lodge? You just basically. Well. Yep. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh -oh. Jim, you mean? Yeah, I'm going to move in there. What's wrong? Don't want to sing his mic. Yeah, his <laughs> mic. Okay, we're good. <laughs> the only thing I've got to say is I appreciate all the help you guys have been giving me to help me get settled in. I, I really, really 
am enjoying this job at this point. Good deal. Glad to have you. Charles? Uh, nothing big. I just wanted, did we put a time limit of how long we're going to advertise for that far chief? I don't remember if we did. Mm -hmm. We've got that pages in. I knew just, we had some, but I didn't know we put a deadline on. I think it was the March 20th. It was the end of March. No, I think so. I want to make sure. Someone asked me that I thought we did. Yeah. Okay. We just got scheduled interviews now. I just haven't got to that point yet. That's all I have. How many do we have to buy? Two. Do you interview? Two. Okay. Yeah. All right. We, uh, that ballpark, we have to keep our grade and to keep our ball tournaments going, we have to have a certain type of dirt, a certain type of laser grading and all that to make it possible to play the tournaments and stuff. Problem is, that dirt has to come from Georgia. And it's not cheap. Um, we're talking about 100, well, let's say five, it says five truckloads and then 100 bags of field conditioner, then the laser leveling, and the whole, the whole price comes out to $23,771.60. It's not cheap. Um, we had some discussion about them not keeping it leveled and dried and all that right. They, think, they say they're going to do a better job of taking care of it. I hope they do. But I don't think we can afford to pay the twenty-three thousand. I actually think they need to be responsible for some of it. And Larry, Larry thought maybe they could pay half, and we could pay half. But twenty-three thousand seven hundred seventy-one sixty is the price to get the fields back in the shape they're supposed to be in. Now they they say that through the summer when you drag them and the wind blows, you'll they lose, lose you'll lose a quarter to a half a load just just on, natural, do, just on natural elements. The dust. Yes. So. Sounds like a whole lot of futures in dirt. Georgia Clay, I think there is. Specialized dirt. Any kind of dirt in there. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do, I need, do I need to make some motion or should we just discuss it? See what we can uh, well, if, 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 if we're going to go with it, we'll go ahead and do a motion a second. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I don't mind going with it, but we can't, we can't pay the whole thing. 20,000 seven or second. Those people agreed to that half. Well, Jacob's here with a. We can't do half right now. It's been five years since that's been done. We well, know. Yeah. So, and I've just now got it in October is when I've had this week. Right. So, the, not taking care of it's not, you know. It's that's not years. your fault. We understand that. It's five years from now. We understand that. taken care of. But, I know right now that we can give $5,000 right now. Now, we've, we've got fundraisers going. We plan on having tournaments down there to help bring more money in. We might even get that money up, but right now five thousand is worth the he's at. Okay. So Are you willing to make them an arrangement for the next two, 24 months, or is it to pay that half? If that's what needs to happen, we can discuss it. Yeah, because it needs it. Right? It does it's, need. It. I'm not going to do that at all. Right now, they're planning. They're planning to be fast. The fields are. There's not a lot of service there. I'm just afraid the kids won't get hurt because they're on balls and things like that. Yeah, because it turns in hard pants. Yeah. And it just bangs like fat in the ball of fire. Yeah, it has to be there. So you're telling us what I'm saying about the season. Is that bad? Of course, Georgia. Yeah, I thought it was Georgia. I thought it was one. Plus, we're going to do budgets like we're doing. Okay, let me ask you this. Uh, and I appreciate your willingness. I, I've talked to you a time or two and haven't met you, but I appreciate your willingness to take this on. Uh, I've heard nothing but good about what's been happening since October, so I'm, I'm thrilled about that because I know there's been some issues throughout the years by different people over there, so we thank you for that. And I know the season starts here next week. Next week. So I know there's no way we can obviously get it done before then. Right. Uh, you know we're willing to do half, and we're willing to work even beyond that. Uh, would you be okay, let's setting down again, back with this commission towards the end of the season to see where you all are at, and then once, we, like I say, once the tournament the season's over with, we can get it done and get it fixed. But I'm, right. I'm gonna make a commitment to do everything we can to get yeah. this fixed because it. Well, we knew we had to do yeah, it. Larry, we talked about last year having to do it. This was the year to come up. Yeah. I see, two, two years ago. 
apparently there was some money long a couple years ago, right? Two, two was, years ago, uh, the president of the league, him and his wife was going through some marital problems, and then they had some money, and I said, listen, I've, I've got $10,000 that I, I can do something with right now. And they just kind of dropped the wayside. So, you know, it, the 23000 is hard for us to come up with, just like it is with right. the league. So if you go in partnership, you know, if we keep on top of it and go over two or two years versus every three, you know, three or four five. Now that it get this big. Five, 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 five years since we did it yeah. the last time. Well, and another thing this does, it puts us into another budget year, which makes things a whole lot easier. Right. When, you know, to get this done. So if you all are okay with that. Yeah, let's sit down. Like, we stop spring. Our spring season stops like June 14th. And then we start our fall season in the end of September. So in between that time, oh, yeah. it's, it's a perfect time to do it. Yeah. And still try to work it out to get it done to not uh, interfere with any tournaments that right. we all may be playing or, or others. Yeah. Because I know the tournaments we've had here before, we've had nothing but good response from the people from out of town coming to play. Right, yeah. We're centrally located everything. Right. E-Town, Paducah, Laundry, and all this world. This is the perfect place to have tournaments. Every time, the ones I talk to just want to come here to eat. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, you all the cheapest concessions we've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, it's a great ballpark, and I want to keep it that way. It is a great ballpark. We, but we have, we have to do the things that we have to do just to keep it that way, you know? We can do it, and we can keep it. Once we get it done, I know we'll be committed, as a my to keep it where it needs to be. That's so what I appreciate. I appreciate that. I appreciate how, y'all. I'm going to have to add, how old are your kids? My kids, I got a 10 year old, a 9 year old, and a 3 year old. Just start oh, good. We're, We're good for a while. For a while. <laughs> I'm here. That's, and be honest with you, that's one of the problems we've had. We've had a different commissioner, or whatever you call yourself. Yeah, he's got a one year old. President, president almost every year for the last five years. I'm going to change the model off to make it a two year position now. For unlimited term, so I, my goal is to run it for a long time. Yeah, and that's better. Trust me, people don't understand, but that's a lot better. Yeah. So, what do you want? Do you want to just make it for the eighteen seven seventy one, and then then pay the other five? Well, we don't have to do anything right now. We're going to get back with them at the end of the season because we, we, we can't do anything before then anyway. Got to keep up that bid. All right. Yeah, that, that bid is the lowest bid that I got. The last one, Larry, I you still got it. It's about thirty thousand. That's a good so, company. Ken Bard. And that's the same guys who did the fields last time with... Um, he does school work. Who? Ken Bard. They work with high school. Yeah. They did all the high school work. So they're trusted for Billy Young. That's who I got like. Uh, oh, my. Guys. You messed up there. <laughs> <laughs> we had everything going. You said trusted by Billy Young. So, but uh, that's the lowest time. <coughs> okay. Well, we're all, I think, like I said, we're all committed to doing this. And, yes. and we can just sit down again when it's time to get ready to do it and get this all worked out and see how we can make it happen. Sounds perfect. But we appreciate it. All right. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you. I do have something and we probably need five minutes for the process. Okay. okay. Hold that thought just a second. Larry, do you have anything you want to? Uh, yes. I've, we had four seasonal employees last couple of years. Uh, one of the seasonal went to full time. Uh, three of my four, three of the three others are coming back for the seasonal. I may, I may need one more seasonal. I should know something in a week or so about the money and the person. So, if everybody's okay with that, do we need to make that a motion? Yes. I would like to move that we give Larry latitude and hearty seasonal help if he sees fit. I second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Uh -huh. Post sign. Do you have anything else? That's all that I have. I have one thing, and then we go into closed session. We've had a uh, tourism commission board member has had to resign uh, for a couple of reasons. Oh, uh, Shelly Johnson. So uh, she's been helping anyway, and she's still committed to helping and volunteering all she can, but we do have to replace that. And I would like to put up for your consideration to replace her, Mr. Charlie Olawela. I'll have to get you the spelling. Don't ask me. Okay, yeah. Can you say that again? Uh, uh, pronounce it again. Or, or okay. It's got an R in it, but you don't hear the R, I don't okay. think. It's uh, Dennis Coleman's son-in-law. Mary Dennis's older daughter. They live up there. I actually live in A.V.'s old house. Oh, okay. He uh, was working with the bank, First United Bank, when they first set up and started the sponsorship, and he came with Karen that first meeting and was... Excited about the potential and the, the music? No. 
uh, he's working, he's doing something else now, but I, I've talked to him and he's pretty excited about the potential out there and uh, young and enthusiastic. So let's hope people don't have to do so much. <laughs> As Palmer Ledger gives the thumbs up back there. Yeah. But I'd like to approve him if y'all would. I would. I'll make a motion we approve. Mr. Oweyla. Good job. <laughs> that was amazing. That was got that close. <laughs> Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Same thing. Those in favor, sing five time. Uh, 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 motion passes. Now we need a motion to go into closed session. I a motion to go into closed session. Yeah. Will there be any business afterwards? I have no idea. Oh, this man <laughs> wants to do something. I no idea. We are in open session. Okay, we're back in open session, so I guess. Anybody else have anything? Uh, Kevin? No. Okay. No. You're supposed to make the motion to adjourn. No, I made a motion to be adjourned. Mary? Oh. Second. Oh. Oh. Wait. I do have one thing. The baseball tournament for Together with Care this year is going to be actually for the Boys Girls Club. Just for everybody to know FYI. The one in August? August? The one Mother's, Mother's, Day. Mother's, Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Okay. Now we second? Uh, second. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you did. I forgot about it.